Um, what's it called? Taro. Oh, oh yeah. Taro. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Funny sort of texture and aftertaste. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. You'll have to taste it yourself. Like the Sinigang. Sinigang. It's very nice. video we are going to cook again and for today I'm going to show you how to cook beef sinigang so for the ingredients for beef sinigang we will need beef ribs we have uh, pak choy chili this one is uh, yam, it's a taro, and it's a family of yam, onion, and tamarind powder. You can also use uh, lemon juice, as long as it's fresh lemon juice. It's fine because in the Philippines we actually use uh, calamansi if we don't have uh, tamarind uh, powder or we use the fresh tamarind but here because we cannot find those ingredients here I'm just gonna be using tamarind powder oh I forgot we also need eggplant but it's actually optional. Eggplant is optional. You can uh, just uh, leave it if you don't want eggplant for your sinigang. And some, they also use okra. But since I don't have okra and the long beans, I will just be using all these ingredients that's in my fridge. So, I will show you how to cook it right now gonna put our beef ribs and then onions and water water mm, one liter until your meat is tender so you just have to We're just going to boil it until our beef is tender. There, our sinigang is now boiling. So while it's boiling, I will now add my taro or uh, yam. I don't know how you call it here, but in the Philippines we call it Gabi. So, we'll just wait for it until our meat and our taro is soft. 
then we can add the vegetable. There, friends, look, mga inday. Our meat is now soft, so we can now start adding our vegetable. So I'm gonna be adding my eggplant. Then I'm going to add salt. So after our eggplant, we'll just wait one minute. Now we can add our tamarind powder. I use one pack of tamarind powder. Then we can put our chili. Yummy. Now time for our choy. Then it's cooked. We can now enjoy our sinigang. I will show you how yummy it is later. Sinigang. So here is our sinigang. It's the beef sinigang. Yeah, I've had this before. Yeah, but it's not beef. Uh, what was the last one you did then? A pork. Oh, pork sinigang. Yeah, the last this one was pork sinigang. Beef with uh, pak choy and, and eggplant. And all your usual ingredients like yeah. onion. <laughs> And uh, what else? Garlic. Garlic. Peppers. Yeah. You said me yeah, peppers. All right. Let's try and see what it's like. See what it's well, like. Well, I tasted it before, so I know what it should taste like. <laughs> you see, that's chili. Hmm. Try this one. Yeah, that is nice. What's that? It's uh, like taro. Taro? Yeah, but it's not the leaves. It's the... It's the root? Yeah. The it's like uh, yam. Yeah, yam. Well, the meat is nice and tender. Nice taste. 
and it's got that um, like a sour, sour. taste. Exactly, a sour taste. I like. So let's try this. Um, what's it called? Barrel. Oh, or it is barrel. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Funny sort of texture and aftertaste. Mm. I don't know how to describe it. You'll have to taste it yourself. But the Sinigang, Sinigang is very nice. So I can't pull it to pieces. Or say, oh no, it's it? horrible. That's nice. I'll have no problem eating all of this. That's in the gun. That's in the gun, yeah. Very nice. Well, I know you like it. Mm. Because whatever I, you know, Rachel puts in front of herself, or I put in front of Rachel, she eats. It doesn't matter what it is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I think that concludes this video, doesn't it? Yeah. So we'll carry on eating. So if you like this and want to see more, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So it's bye-bye from me. Bye.